Hello ROS developers, welcome to the Gazebo in 5 minutes video series provided by The Construct, a channel about ROS. I am Marco Arruda and in this video you'll learn how to use Gazebo models in a given simulation. But before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you'll find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation is required, you'll find a link to the academy on the video description. Ok, now let's start with the video. So, in the previous chapter we have seen how to launch a Gazebo simulation and I'm going to start with this project. And today let's, let's insert a Gazebo model in the same simulation. So, we have created previously an empty world to work with, ok? And a launch file to, to start this empty world, so let's start it. And we're going to have the empty road right here. And I'm going to show how you can insert some Gazebo models because Gazebo provided off the shelf some models already to be used. So you can find, for example, in this Bitbucket repository from Gazebo models, some of the models that, that are available to use. Uh, let's try, for example, I don't know, let's let's see, uh, first of all let's check first that we have two models being included here okay, it's very clear that it's just a tag called include and then the address of the of the model so basically model uh, slash slash sun it means that this 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 sun is a folder inside of the the repository of Gazebo okay, and as you can see here we have sun right here, and the same for a ground plane, ok? So it means that we can use this include tag for any other models that we have available in Gazebo Models repository. For example, if I want to use, uh, let's see, kitchen dining for example, or I don't know, maybe post box, we have also this model here, we can just change it by post box and the next time we launch the simulation let's relaunch it make sure you have saved the file okay relaunch it and we may have a post box model in our world okay uh, let's wait a few seconds until you have it and let's make some considerations about this about the model There it is, we have a post box in the center of the world, ok? So we have it on x, y and z equals to 0. And if you want to change, of course you can. You just have to use the tag pose. We have x, y, z, row, pitch and yaw in radians. And here you have to use meters, ok? So for example, if you want to put in a higher place, just put 2 meters above the ground, you just have to do it like this. Let's put also 5 meters on X and 7 on Y. Now let's relaunch the model and for example I'm going to include another model here, but not post box. I'm going to include, I remember we have a kitchen chair, so Let's put put it without the pose, okay? Actually, let's use the pose. So zero zero and one meter above the ground. This is going to be interesting. So let's relaunch the world and wait a few seconds until you have it ready. This is interesting because you can populate your simulation. Uh, before using any kind of robot, you may need a world. For example, if you're working with a mobile robot, you want to generate a map or maybe avoid obstacles, and you're going to need some models there. Okay? And this is very nice that you can use any model provided by Gazebo, or as we are going to see in the next videos, you can use also a custom model. Okay? 
greater it is, as you can see, we have a kitchen chair and a post box in the world in different positions because you have used pose for both of them. And if you play the simulation, they don't fall down to the ground. Okay. And why is that? Because another very important property of the objects is this one called static. And for the full, they are static. So static is equal to true. Okay. I'm going to keep it like this for post box, but for a kitchen chair, I'm going to put it static as false, which means that it has to interact with gravity and other models in the world. So let's relaunch the world. And it's important to note that the object may not fall down right at, at when we have the simulation ready because we are using here inside the launch file, we are setting the argument pause as true. Okay. So the simulation starts as paused. We have to play the simulation. So here we have, we have again the post box and the kitchen chair, both of them over the ground. And now let's play the simulation and only the chair falls down because we have here described the post box as a static object and the kitchen chair is not static. Okay. So that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. See you!